All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are back in the Minecraft 15th anniversary. I know I'm a little bit late uh, <laughs> on these videos, but uh, the map that was made by, uh, shoot, what was it made by? One sec, one sec. Their name's up here, right? No? Okay. I think it's like Orville or something like that. It's pretty cool though. Um, yeah, let's jump in. We've just finished the aquarium area, got all the stickers there. So let's go into this area, which is called, I believe, Exploration. So yeah, let's jump straight into it, shall we? This is gonna be fun. Let's do it. Um, ooh, got some pods. Nice little statue here. Look at that. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, what's this over here? Desert Temple. Amidst the dunes of the desert biome, the Desert Temple made its de debut on August 1st, 2012, in the 1.3 update. Yep, I remember that. that was great. Uh, made up of 3,078 sandstone sandstone blocks. Desert temples are the largest structure in the desert biome. Often covered in sand, its size is concealed beneath, beneath the surface, uh, under what appears to be an ornate floor pattern, hides a narrow chamber brimming with, with treasure. These narrow chambers are best explored alone, one faulty step, and you'll be entombed right beside uh, that hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, yeah, I remember that was great. Uh, let's see, can we talk to this guy? No, but he's got a nice little mop there, it's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and explore the, the desert biome over here in the desert temple. Got our friend here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Some camels. Got some cactus. So if we walk into the cactus, is that going to hurt us? No, it's fake cactus. Okay, that's good. That's good. Is there anything hidden back here? I wonder. Is that the light or something? The sun? I guess, yeah, it's supposed to be the sun. I don't think there's anything over here either, but let's go ahead and check it real quick. Some interesting looking weeds or dead plants or something. Uh, let's jump into the desert temple. Yeah. What we got down here? Ooh, the floor is kind of uneven. That's kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Um, yeah. What is this? Pots, right? This is new. Uh, decorated pots. Crafted from pottery shard, uh, shirts? I think it's supposed to be shards, but anyways. Um, <laughs> Decorated, uh, sorry, shards or, or bricks. Um, decorated pots are a great way to spruce up your interior design. Did you know there are a total of 194,481 unique decorated pots that can be crafted? Each of the four slots used to craft a decorated pot, pot can consist of any one of the 20 pottery shards in addition to the brick. Interesting. I didn't know that there was that many, to be honest, but that's pretty cool. I like that. More options is always great. Uh, I guess we'll go over there in a second. Let's do this one next. Um, oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Well, let's check over on the side. Is this, this all the same, the same as well? There's a warden one up there. I saw that. Yeah, it's the same. All says the same thing. Okay. Cool. These are always nice. Who is this? Hello. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I didn't mean to walk inside of you. All right. Um, let's see. We got some nice little lighting there. That's cool. Uh, what is this exactly? I don't know. Game. I guess let's do the game first. Yeah pot shuffle. Uh, keep your eyes on the prize. Oh, okay. And follow the decorated pot with the emerald inside. Gets p correctly after they stop shuffling to score a point. How many rounds can you survive? Okay. Approach the pots to play. Keep your eyes on the pot with the emerald inside. Okay, here it is. Okay. It's this one. Yep. Okay, it's probably going to get faster, right? It's still this one. Yep, let's go. This one. Oh, now there's five, okay. So that's a little bit harder, that's okay now. It's this one. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. Let's keep going, as long as we can. This one. All right, all right, all right. Let's try not to mess this up. It's this one. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Oh, shoot. I think I might have lost it. Hold on. No, we're okay. It's this one. Yeah, boy. Let's go. I think it's this one. Oh, shoot. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> this one. Let's go. Cool. 
I think it's this one. Okay, nice. Do we just get to go infinitely? Oh shoot, I think I lost it. Is it this one? I think it's, Oh man. Okay, well that's unlucky. We got the Emerald Death, so there we go, sticker collected, cool. How many stickers are in here again? Oh, sorry, we're done, we're done for now. Steve and Alex over there. Uh, exploration should be this one, right? No, it's this one? No. Oh, here it is, right? I think? Yeah, exploration, okay, we got five, we got four, 12, maybe? I think. Wow, that's a lot, actually. Cool. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Got some emeralds and stuff. Got a little pharaoh dude. Alright, well, that was fun. We ended up winning, so that's good. Who was first place again? Steve. Or, Steve was first place. Not anymore, though. Cool. Uh, nothing over here, it looks like, but that's kind of interesting. Imagine there was just, like, an invisible wall and I could actually just walk right through it or something. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, what's this? Husk, meet the husk, a sunproof zombie that won't burn in the daylight. If that wasn't bad enough, you may one day stumble across a rare sight, a baby husk riding an adult husk. Oh yeah, I've not seen that before, I don't think. It's like a piggyback ride, but with more bite. Don't let their size fool you. These little riders mean big trouble. I wonder if this is only on um, Bedrock. Cause I don't, I don't remember that being a thing, but maybe. Maybe I just haven't been lucky enough or something. Nighttime toggled. Camel. Hey, there we go. <laughs> nice, another sticker. Alright. Uh, cool. Looks like he's sleeping. Meet the camel. Uh, Minecraft's two-seater ride. Uh, standing tall at three blocks tall, the camel keeps camel keeps players high above the reach of melee mobs and can step over fences like they're just lines in the sand. Uh, with a jump that turns any h obstacle into mere stepping stones. Every ride is a humpback leap into adventure. Uh, hop on, there's room for two. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool, actually. I like the the stuff up there that's like that's like uh, movie stuff or whatever. I like that, that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, or movie set stuff, I guess. It's the Savannah, I'm assuming. Yeah, Savannah. With its sprouting grasslands, got a painting over there. <laughs> Sprawling grasslands and acacia trees back in the savannah's endless sunshine. Uh, bask, sorry, in the savannah's endless sunshine. Despite the arid climate, the savannah is home to a plethora of species, uh, including a unique armor wearing critter, a master at rolling into a ball for protection. <laughs> yep. Oh, interesting. We can use a little thing here. Find the wandering trader and his llamas. Look at that guy. Uh, wandering trader. Let's see. Oh, I found a llama. Here we go. <laughs> Punch to zoom. Okay, got it. And then what's this? I don't know. Well, here's one of the llamas as well. So we got two or three. Um, probably just the wandering trader left, right? I don't think it's a third llama. Um, oh, here he is. Aha! Got him. <laughs> Alright, what, what sticker does that give us, right? Let's give us something, I think. Oh, hello, sir. I found a friend. Uh, how do we get out of this? Find space. Okay, there we go. Do we get the sticker or no? I guess not. Okay. Interesting. What happens if we go in again? Find the one who traded his llamas. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I did find them all, so how do I... How do I finish this out? Yeah, I found them all already. Wait, what? How do we get out of this? Alright, well, unlucky, I guess. I guess we'll just get on out of there. Alright, well, that's interesting. Uh, I've got, like, some of the mules and stuff as well. All the all the things you can ride, basically, right? Yep, pig, horse, uh, mule. I guess, I don't think you could ride the, the llama, but he is a pack mule, I guess. <laughs> um, and then, wait, no, you, yeah, you can ride a llama, but I don't think you can steer him. Maybe you can, I can't remember. Uh, and then the camel. Uh, what's this all about, huh? Find the wandering trader and llamas, alright. Here's llama number one. Uh, where is this? Here we go. It's the wandering trader. Uh, nose wiggle though, that's crazy. Alright, the other guy should be over here on the right side somewhere. Where he at? Uh, here he is. Here we go. Found all the mobs. White Llama, open the sticker book, sticker book to see inside. Nice! There we go. That one gave me a sticker at least. I guess the other one doesn't or something. 
Uh, let's see, what's this about? The Mesa. The Mesa biome dazzles with its layers of colorful clay, standing out as a favorite for travels or travelers. Sorry. Its large cliffs and valleys offer a wide array of building materials for the color-loving clay enthusiast. It is also a great location to stock up on cacti. All right, cool. The more you know. Uh, what are those guys? Those cool little paintings, actually. I should add these in Minecraft. Mushroom. <laughs> what the heck? Mush uh, mushroom biome. Nice. Oh, we got another game up here. Cool. What is this? Red mushroom. Thriving in dim conditions, red mushrooms can sprout up in unexpected places. Use bone meal and a mushroom to turn these tiny fungi into large tree-like structures, offering you shelter and effective mulch for your composter. <laughs> composter. Okay. And then we got the brown mushrooms, the key ingredient to a yummy soup. Mushrooms thrive in the dark and can be grown practically anywhere devoid of light. They can even be found growing outside the confines of the nether ceiling. All right. We got a game here as well. What is this? Mushroom Madness. All right, f find all 50 mush mush mushrooms and transform them to the correct type with the zap of lightning. Bounce on the red mushrooms to reach new heights and harness the power of the lightning rod to complete this electrifying uh, challenge in the fastest time. Okay, find 50 mushroom and transform them <laughs> to the correct type. Bounce on the red mushrooms to reach new heights. Okay. Let's try it. Let's see how to do this. Oh, okay, I see they're red, I guess. So we gotta get, go to brown, maybe? I did not realize there were two different types of mushrooms, to be honest. I thought there was just one. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, use the lightning rod to match the mushrooms the correct color, okay? Oh, wow, that's a... That's a Alright, there we go. Uh, gotta be quick. Oh shoot, that was not quick enough. No! Oh shoot. Uh, boom? Nope. There we go. Oh shoot. Boom. Boom. I'm messing this up badly. Ugh! There we go. Get out of here. Uh, I need to get on these red ones. No! Are you kidding me? This is not fun. Aw, oh, man. Come on now, buddy. I am failing miserably at this. What the heck? <laughs> um, try up here, maybe? There we go. Can I get up there? Possibly, but not easily. That the red mushrooms bounce us high. Oh, that one did not bounce me even slightly. Okay, that's too bad. Okay, there we go. Got that one at least. Man, these times are terrible. I'm, I'm gonna have to restart this for sure to get the first first place score. Maybe I don't have to get the first place score. We'll see. Uh, Let's get over here. We do have a little bit of jump boost, which is nice, but it's not quite enough, I don't think. Uh, how do we how do we get up on this one? Oh man. Um, here maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's not gonna bounce us. Oh, there's another game over there. Looks like okay. Cool, cool, cool. Boom. 10 of 15. We're almost there. Very close. <laughs> Not close enough yet, though. Shoot. Come on. Need to bounce high, buddy. Uh, how about up here? Yep, here we go. Got some guys up here. <clears throat> this one's needs to get changed for sure. This one gets, needs to get changed. There we go. There we go. Boom. And then one more, I guess. Where's this last one? Um, I'm probably missing him in plain sight. Where's he at? That's all the ones over there, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, where is this guy? 
No, I can't believe I just fell all the way to the ground. That sucks. Wow, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Um, where is this last guy? I don't know. Really need to get up higher though. Maybe he's all the way at the top or something? I missed him? I don't know. Nope, I don't see him there. Where am I missing this last guy at? I'm gonna miss that jump. That sucks. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's this guy, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, four minutes and six seconds. That did not work. We need to get. Uh, we need to do better than that. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, well, we got the sticker though. All right, I give up on that one. That one's way too hard. Uh, all right, what is this mushroom mat? Oh, it's another way to get to here, I guess. What is this? Where are we now? place okay uh, regular rabbit so these hoppy little explorers come in various colors blending into different biomes from the desert to the snowy tundra rabbits add life wherever they go whether you're farming carrots or exploring a new biome these fairy friends are a delightful delight delightful yeah delightful sight all right got some some presents here that's cool when when Christmas comes around I believe they uh, oh hello what's the heck is that got a firmness here I guess you can interact with that that's kind of cool <laughs> Um, let's go down here, what's this? Oh, hello. Sticker collected, zombie villager, okay. Uh, what's in the chest? Nothing's in the chest, okay. Why are there's carpet here? Like some things, there's a cauldron with a little bit of water in it, I guess. Um, okay, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I'm stuck. No, we're good. We're good. Why does that look weird? Oh. It's like little pieces taken out of it or something. Okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> snowy tiger biome. Let's check this out. What's this all about? Wandering trader and his llamas again. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, here's a llama. Found ya, buddy. Uh, where are the other ones? Let's take a nice look here. Here we go. Here's another llama. All right, and I'm assuming the last guy is probably up here somewhere, right? Where is he at? Aha, here he is. He's under the lie, so no. Poor thing. R.I.P. All right, that's kind of fun. But uh, we didn't get any rewards from it, unfortunately. Still pretty cool. Uh, hello, sir. How you doing? All right, let's do whatever this is. Pumpkin shirt. Oh, no. Not the snow golem. I like it when they have the pumpkin on, but... It's kind of cool they have a little thing under it though. That's alright. Alright, uh, what do we got over here? Ice spikes biome. We got a polar bear, it looks like. Find the wanting tree against llamas. Here's a llama immediately. <laughs> Let's do that guy. Um, probably another guy over here somewhere, right? No? How about up top anywhere? Is there stuff up top? Aha, here we go. It's the wandering tree. No, he's stuck in the ice again. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, here is the last guy. I, I saw ya. Can't hide from me. Brown llama. There we go. Sticker collected. Cool. There we go. I wonder if you have to do both of those um, side things, or if you just do one and it, it works. Uh, stray. Bottle up, um, brave souls. In the icy wilderness of bio of Minecraft, even the skeletons have a bone to pick. Ill exclusive to cold biomes, the stray shoots arrows of slowness, making every encounter a frosty challenge. Wrapped in tattered rags and aiming with frozen precision, they're a reminder that in the snow, every step could be a cold surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the newer things I didn't even realize was added to Minecraft at some point. Um, I think it was added when they had, uh, oh my gosh, what's it called? Um, like the frozen tundras and stuff. No, not frozen tundras, the ice spikes biomes. I think that's when they added them, but I don't actually know. Um, Snow fox. Catch a snowy fox fast asleep in the snow. Uh, is taking a cozy nap under the chilly sky. Even these playful spirits need the rest. Snug as a bug in a chilly rug. Shh, let's tread tw uh, quietly. It's too cute to disturb this peaceful slumber. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Aw, cute. 
All right. Uh, oh my gosh, there they are. Hi, buddy. A little bit cold. All right. Uh, what is here? Another rabbit. Okay, a toast rabbit. Say hello to Toast, Minecraft's secret rabbit, a heartwarming ho homage to a beloved, to beloved pet. Grab a name tag and name a buddy Toast to see it don the distinctive black and white fur. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't even know that. Uh, this adorable Easter egg is sure to make you hoppy as it serves as a touching tribute to a cherished companion. Aw, kind of cute. <laughs> Looks like he's sleeping as well. Uh, hello, buddy. Where you at? Killer rabbit. Watch your carrots and mind your step. Oh, it's the red-eyed one, yep. Uh, veteran Java players know that in the world of Minecraft, even the bunnies have a killer instinct. <laughs> yep. They may seem like harmless creeper creatures with their adorable twitching noses and floppy ears, but that cute exterior only hides their ferocious nature. Yeah, this guy go crazy. Uh, Alright. Sniffers looks like here. Uh, I've got exit, but let's get the last thing. I think this should be the last one. Did we get all of them yet? No, we actually missed quite a few, actually. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll come back. I don't know. Uh, sniff and seek. Alright, game. Here we go. Saddle up on your sniffer companion and forage seeds for... Or forage four seeds in the cherry blossom biome. With the sniffer's nose leading the way, bury your head in the leaves to score points. Okay. <laughs> Sounds interesting. What did that say at the bottom? Oh. Okay, sniff mm. report. Bury your head in the cherry leaves by using the sniff item to score points. Guide the sniffer to piles of leaves to sniff. Okay. There we go. There we go. I think it was 100 points was the high score, so this should be pretty easy, actually. That mushroom one, I could probably do better on. I definitely could do better on, but as of right now, I, I was doing pretty bad, <laughs> unfortunately. Can we jump? No. Kind of glitches out when we try to jump or, or shift. Doesn't like us doing that. Kind of want to go up there. That little area behind us up there. Another game, it looks like. That's cool. Good to, good to know, good to hear. Hmm. I'm assuming we shouldn't walk in the the water, but I don't actually know. Can we walk in the water? Maybe be just fine, or are we gonna have problems? Gonna suffocate a little, no, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, let's go up here. And then let's head up that way. I think we got pretty much all of them. Oh no, they can't climb stairs, I guess? Oh, okay. Can I just do the same one then, or what? Yep, I guess we just do the same one, okay. Oh! I guess there's multiple. You can do multiple times with the same guy or something. Sniffer, there we go. Nice. Um. Oh yeah, here's the next way. Okay, yeah, let's just put us back to the next area. Okay, cool. Uh, what is all this? Some sniffer eggs, it looks like. And some special flowers that they make. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what do we got here? Got a little horsey, uh, horse armor, okay. In the early days of Minecraft, horses were noble companions, aiding players in their travels. It wasn't until the introduction of horse armor as that these majestic steeds could truly shine. Quite literally. Uh, horse armor can be found in dungeons, temples, and other fortresses, or obtained through trading with villagers. Oh yeah. Is that the diamond one or something? Interesting looking, actually. <laughs> a little different in, uh, in Minecraft, in Java, I guess. Uh, I think horse armor in the very in the early days of minecraft horses were noble companions a oh this so says the exact same thing sorry my bad <laughs> uh i got some looks like these that's a killer bunny isn't it pretty sure uh tiger biome wolves wolves are most are minecraft's oldest and most loyal companions being the first tameable mobs introduced back in beta version 1.4 on march 31st 2011 they will accompany you on your wildest adventures and idly rest by the fire in your home base forging an unbreakable bond go up check up on your buddy from time to time they'll always be waiting for you when you log back into the into your world ever faithful and ready for the next big adventure together <laughs> yeah look at these guys oh that's so cute they look really great in this i love that all right let's do this real quick find the water trainer his llamas again all right hey buddy how you doing Alright, where are these llamas at? There's one. 
found a llama. One of three, okay? And then, got a buddy howling at the moon, that's cute. <laughs> Fake moon though, buddy. Uh, there's the wandering trader. Where's the llama? Uh, there he is, third llama. Oh, oh, there is a, uh, it's a fox there. Hey buddy, how you doing? Go check out that real quick. Uh, what does it say about them? Minecraft foxes have a habit of borrowing items they find laying around, such as shining objects and even weapons. Keep an eye out for your belongings when traversing the forest with these crafty critters. Got a little game here. Uh, what is this? Archaeology. Where, hid where history hides beneath your feet, unearth secrets from the past, and discover buried treasure chests filled with rare artifacts and valuable loot. Who knows what you might find? Maybe a blockbuster relic or a piece of historical pottery. Uh, what's a blockbuster relic? Um, grab your brush and let's get digging. History awaits in every block. Um, let's first get this other thing on the other side real fast. And then we'll come right back to that. Definitely. Uh, we got slimes or something? Oh yeah, slimes. <clears throat> Uh, there's a little frog there as well. Bounce into the whimsical realm of Minecraft's gel gelatinous creatures, otherwise known as the slime. Famous for their hoppy behavior and striking green color, they really know how to gel within the environment. Fun fact, the bigger the slime, the more it splits when defeated, turning one big bounce into many little leaps. Yeah, little plops more like. Um, Alright, kind of witchy as well. Find the wandering trader in Islamist. So we got those slimes. There's the wandering trader. There's a black cat with, with the witch. Oh no. Oh gosh, he's stuck in the slime. <laughs> no, no. Alright, uh, where's these other ones? Where are you at, llamas? Not up in the sky, it looks like. Here's a llama. There we go. And then the other one's probably right over here somewhere. Here he is. Found all the mobs. Nice. That'll give us a sticker, right? One new treaty. There we go. Nice. Then we can. We have all of those, at least the two things in the wandering trader two llamas all right uh witches masters of potions and hiding in the dark these mysterious figures are often found lurking deep within swampy forest um they wield potent potions and arcane spells but who are they and what drives their curious craft who knows maybe you will be the one to discover the true motives they are really annoying in minecraft dungeons i'll say that much uh these are all going to say the same thing as we read before but this is kind of cool pretty neat as well all right let's go ahead and Oh, did I already read this? Yes, I did. Okay, let's go into the game and do it. Excavation! Oh ho ho, I'm thrilled you've stumbled upon our excavation exhibit. Care to try your hand at uncovering ancient treasures? Seek out the faint markings on the ground and use the brush to start swiping. Who knows, you might even unearth a relic or two, or perhaps something even more intriguing. Happy digging! Alright, cool. Uh, let's do it. Trial ruins. Brush away the suspicious gravel to uncover hidden artif uh, artifacts or stickers. Okay. Nice. Anything in there? Doesn't look like it. Anything over here? Aha, here we go. Oh, maybe specific blocks. Maybe. What is that? We got magenta stained glass pane, a clay block. Okay, what's under here? Oh, sorry. I should have been holding it down, I guess. Uh, spruce hanging sign. Okay, that's cool. I forgot you could hold it down, not gonna lie. My bad. Uh, anything in here? Anything on you? Want me to give you a little, you know, a little swipey swipe? <laughs> here we go. Something here. What's that, then? Oh. What's that? Aha! Sticker collected. Nice. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and finish it off, though. Figure out everything we can get. It looks like a candle, maybe? Uh, green candle, yep. And what is this? Any more over there? It doesn't look like it. Oh, shoot. I went behind a block. Oh, I have to restart, I guess. Another sign. Oak hanging sign. Nice. Um, trying to see if I make sure I'm not missing anything as well. Probably some stuff over here, too, right? Yep, there's one here. There's another one right above it, right in front of us as well. A little bit ahead. Oh, what was that? Um, wheat, okay. Another candle, it looks like. Uh, brown candle, nice. Got a couple different candles then. Is this all gonna remove from my inventory? Yeah, it is, okay. Cool, well, that's fine. At least we got the sticker, so that's good. Let's head on to the next area. Uh, oh, we got another little 
painting Kathy. Uh, parrots with vibrant feathers and cheerful squawks meet the delightful parrots. Did you know that parrots in Minecraft can actually dance? That's right, play some music nearby from a jukebox, and these charismatic birds will bust out a move. Uh, also, Alays do this, I think. Uh, grooving to the beat with infectious enthusiasm. So why not invite one, or a flock, into your beat base? Just be prepared for some lively company, and perhaps a few unexpected renditions of your favorite tunes. <laughs> go, go, go. Very nice. That's cool. If we can take it out, probably. They can, they, can, they can party, that's fine. It's got some nice cats here. Ocelots, take a walk on the wild side with everyone's favorite feline friends, the ocelots. This elusive creature has prowled the jungle biome since its release back in 2012, but don't be fooled by their cute appearance. Ocelots are expert hunters. Did you know that ocelots have a unique ability to scare away creepers? I did. It's like having a fairy bodyguard, bodyguard against those explosive pests. So whether you're seeking their companions ship as pets or admiring their graceful movements from afar, one thing's for sure, ocelots bring a perfect bl bl blend of charm and ferocity to the world of Minecraft. Um, <laughs> those these are kind of cute. I, that's pretty cool. Um, the only problem is, at least in Java more recently, in the last uh, several years, I think they're not as good at scaring away oh, creepers reliably anymore. They've gotten like more laggy or something, so sometimes creepers will still explode and somebody, sometimes even kill the cats, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, temple dash, retreat the wild armor trim. Smithing template from the jungle temple, okay. <laughs> Let's do it, shall we? That's some nice looking arrows there. Uh, how do we start it? Got some stuff here, we got some armor trim things. Armor trim, where fashion meets function, smithing templates are your go-to for adding a personal flair to your armor. Um, Deck out your favorite diamond chest plate with a hint of gold or add a pop of color to your iron leggings. The possibilities are endless. Well, not quite endless, but with 655,360,000 variations if you start to mix and match, it's as close as it gets. Is there really that many? That's crazy. Um, like variations, I mean. To get started with smithing templates, simply use a smithing table where you can apply your chosen designs directly to your armor pieces. And this is, would be nice, but the, they made netherite armor hard, even harder to do now than it was already. So, yeah. That was it was a bad update in terms of that jungle biome. <laughs> we'll do that in a second. Let's go ahead and do the game. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end this video because it's gone a little bit long. Uh, we'll go ahead and end it here, and I'll finish off this uh, area in the next part, and then could continue on to the next area in that part as well. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and we'll do this game in the next part. All right, peace.